about um, velocity versus the average velocity versus time for a falling uh, exper falling ball experiment. Um, the result I took down from here from the lecture, and uh, so uh, you can see the falling ball how it covers more distance here in centimeter in the same you know the same uh, period of time I, I guess the period of time here is 0.5 second so 0 0.05 minus 0 and if you uh, 0 0.1 0 0.10 0 minus 0 0.05 the result is 0 0.05 second and so on so as you can see it, it covers more distance in the same period of time which means it the speed increases with time right so um let's try to plot the average velocity versus time and see whether we can we can get uh, a linear relationship as we we expected um uh, keep in mind also here since it's falling free fall so the average velocity should be zero here uh, probably didn't show it because they didn't want to say okay you divide um, the distance over zero second which doesn't make sense so just uh, basically we will put zero because it's free fall there's no initial uh, velocity so let me switch to Excel and here I took the, the data and I converted them to meters okay you can see here distance in meter and velocity is in meter over time second um, you know, uh, if you do this experiment on, uh, on the, in the lab or somewhere else in this, you know, in the, in, uh, in the earth surface, uh, we expect the acceleration to be close to the, um, to the acceleration due to the gravity, right? Um, so let's see if this is, you know, uh, the acceleration should be about 9.8, uh, to 10. That's fine. If, if it's 10. Um, let's see if we can uh, prove that so uh, here is the data so what I'm going to plot is velocity versus time so velocity so the, the the independence variable is the time because we we set up the time right we decide how many what is the the period of time we choose you can choose one second you can choose two second whatever it is and um, the the velocity basically will depend on time so Let's do this. Okay, so we go here to insert. I'm, I'm hovering. I hope you see the, the cursor here. So then you go to chart. This part here, there are different parts. So we're going to go to chart and to scatter. So we don't want any 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 line or anything, just a data point. Okay, so here, this is the, uh, the area for the graph. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select, click on the right click on the... Um, on the on the mouse and it says uh, I will choose uh, I have a lot of options here select data so I'm gonna select data and add so when I do this I probably will say here the title of the the plot will be uh, velocity velocity versus time and I'm going to choose the independence variable on x-axis. The independence variable is the time. And on y-axis, again, I, as I said, the uh, dependence variable, which is the uh, velocity, right? Or the average velocity. Okay. And here, um, I hit okay. Then I hit another okay. And I get this plot here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, draw. You can see this point, this data point here, probably are not lined up. Uh, you can't uh, probably um, draw a straight line that goes through all of them here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask uh, the, the spreadsheet to uh, draw, to take the best, use basically linear regression to draw the best fit for this data, the best straight line that fits all this data. So I'm going to click on this um, uh, plus sign here. I'm going to beautify my graph too. I can add the axis titles and I go here to trend line, add the trend line. So click here and um, it should give me more options. I'm going to use more options here. 
when I use more option options so I want linear and I'm gonna say display the equation and you can see the equation now um, since uh, as you can see this uh, trend line doesn't go through the or the origin means that what what we can learn from here if it doesn't go through the origin uh, it means that at zero uh, at zero uh, at, um, what is that at uh, so w we want the, the line to go through the origin because we know that at zero time we have no speed whatsoever we have no speed um, so what I'm going to do here uh, I'm going to force this trend line to go through zero and you have here um, through the origin and you have here a, 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 an option to do so set the intercept to 0, 0.0 you can set the intercept to any value you want but here it's appropriate to set, to set it to uh, 0 uh, 0 okay zero time uh, the velocity was zero and if in fact it was zero actually and um, so you can see that um, if there is um, initial velocity then uh, we'll have plus b or plus another number which means that there is uh, initial velocity for that uh, uh, object whatever it is so um and uh you can do a lot of things here let me change here the um the x and the y axis uh here velocity velocity so it will be very important to write the um the unit because when you read the graph at least you know what kind of unit they used and here time so second because people will read your data you know they want to see how much you know the velocity at point uh two eight for example second so at least they can see it and you can of course uh change the um um the type of line that you have the trend line uh i guess the uh also you can change what is oh um okay i don't want this um uh so back here I don't want to change the access title but I want to uh, change for example uh, the way how it looks here uh, let me change it to red and a solid line for example okay here is my trend line and uh, here's my equation this is my equation let me make it bigger um, the font uh, okay and um, this basically because here it's y equal 8.82 x means uh, since I have y here the velocity and x is the time so can this can be written as v equals 8.82 time for time times t right and we know that this is a this is the equals the slope which is a this is the um, acceleration and since this is a, vil a, a falling uh, a ball then uh, the acceleration dot gravity equal a equal 8.82 um, meter per second square that's the unit right and because this a equal v over t and uh, equals also g the acceleration due to the gravity right um, I hope this is clear you can repeat the video you can stop it and repeat that so that you can I think it's very important uh, skill to learn how to use Excel a lot of people a lot of you probably know how to use it but it's very this is specific to how to do linear regression um, another thing that I would like to talk about is um, you can calculate this uh, manually for example if you are just given the graph and you need to find the uh, the slope this called slope so for any y equals a, a times x the or probably general general equation is b this is a relationship a linear relationship between y and x so uh, this a is called the slope and in this case is uh, the rise over the run which means that it's delta v over delta t 
Okay, so uh, let me give, let me show you a trick here. The trick basically is let's mimic what we did uh, v meter per second, and this is its uh, time. Let's say we have this data point, okay, and this is the best feed that goes through all this data point, and. Um, and the, the the question was to um to calculate the slope uh v equals a times t so this is the slope how to calculate a basically a equals delta v over delta t meter per second over second here delta t okay so we have to take two data point here two data points so it's very important extremely important to take the data point of your choice from the graph itself from the line itself from the straight line it has to be from the straight line one here and one here so you can uh, point data point one data point two so this gives me so here where you can read you know the, the point the data point okay so um this gives me basically v2 v2 v1 and t2 t1 so a equals v2 minus v1 over t2 minus t1 and you can read them from the graph right uh the other why we cannot use data points from our actual data point let's say somebody said hey i don't want to you know uh, draw this line do the interpolation interpolation and try to read the new values from here the problem if you use data points exactly straight from your uh, from your table and you know just use you know whatever v minus v here the problem is this is your slope that's your slope and that's completely different see that's completely different from this one it's completely different you are talking about this line and here this is the real line so it, that's that's going to be wrong that your a will be much much higher so you want to use uh, data points from exactly from the straight line and uh, when I go back to my Excel, you know, this is very close to um, to uh, the acceleration due to the gravity, something that we know it's about 8.81 uh, meter per second square. Now, if you go probably to the North Pole, maybe it will be a little bit different. If you go, if you do the same experiment on the moon, probably you will, you will uh, find it 10 times less than this value here. How this helps.